Welcome back everyone to your recursion video part two. This video we are going to be talking about what's known as the base case. And you can have multiple base cases, but we're going to start with one. The base case is essentially when the recursion stops for good. So no more calling any other recursion. <laughs> so let's visualize this. We start with the big call to the function, which calls a smaller call which small which which small which calls a smaller call which calls the smallest one possible this one needs to then finish and go back up the call stack and then finally go out of the function so it's kind of weird thinking about it like going down and then back up but it is essential because when you call a function that previous location in code where you were gets stored so think about this location being stored, and then this location being stored, and then this location being stored. Well, then you need to go back and go to those previous locations until you get back to the code that called this echo to begin with. So wherever the echo function was called and some data was passed in, such as, you know, we could say, hey, and let's say, we send it in at 110 decibels. We pass that data in right there. Well, this location, wherever this code was called, we need to make sure we return to that correct location. Okay, enough about the returns. Let's talk about actually ending this recursion. In this situation, it's an infinite recursion because we're going to call echo, pass in, originally we had 110, so we're gonna pass in 100. That's going to shout the message at 100 decibels. Then we're going to call echo with 90, and then echo with 80, and 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and then zero. Okay, so what happens when we hit zero? Shout message, and we're gonna pass in zero. So you're gonna shout it with zero volume. And then we're going to pass in message zero minus 10, or we're gonna pass in negative 10, and then negative 20, negative 30, negative 40. And it's going to just keep on going until the loudness is infinitely small. Well, actually, you're going to keep it running until you run out of stack space because you have to remember these locations <laughs> and you're going to get a stack overflow exception. So we need a condition to stop the calling of a smaller version, and that's at the smallest piece. So you can think of the smallest volume that is allowed. So to do that, we just need to add a line about right here that goes something like this. If loudness is less than one, return. And that's going to trigger traversing back up the call stack. So if we take this code and put it right here before the shout, it'll only get to this shout if loudness is greater than zero. That means we can't have the issue where we're calling shout with negative numbers and we'll never get to this return echo loudness minus 10 because we already have hit a return for that function call. So that is the base case. Now the ID3 algorithm, which is what we're going to talk about next, I promise you, next video, ID3 algorithm. This is actually going to have three base cases. So the ID3 algorithm is much more complex than this simple example here. So that is a perfect example of recursion and base cases. In the next video, we're gonna move on to the ID3 algorithm, so please be sure to check it out. Peace. Oh, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. It helps me out tremendously. Thank you, and just please do it.